So hitting the knee is is uh, a way of making sure the level changes, and then the goal is to get off the knee as soon as possible. So if you can hit a hole and not your knee, I think that's a good place to be. But you know, I would say that watching the World Championships, the NCAA's, it's rare. Um, you can bring your burrows as double legs, he's in the knee. And, but he's coming off it right away. So on the double, on the single, on the high crotch, I think the objective is to teach our athletes to think about having a spring on your knee. You hit it, you get off it right away. It's not to stay down there. The object is to, is to hit hard, get back to your knee as soon as possible. Uh, the other thing that came up, I know we're lucky, we talked to a couple of coaches, uh, on defense. So we'll, we'll go over a little, but we'll, we'll go over some uh, defense, the right attacks, and then we'll go down to that. So, uh, okay, so we got our cards in here, state champ. Um, okay, so one thing that we want to help our athletes with is not reaching. So if someone pulls on our head, I pull on Tristan's head, my, my objective, what I pull on his head is to either get him to go down or to get him to bring up, come up. I want him to reach. And when he reaches, that will expose his legs a little more. So, a good drill, when he pulls on my head, I've got to go where my hands belong. So if he pulls on my head, I'm better off keeping my hands down than reaching for something. So I want to focus more on my body position then I do want to start lunging at something and try to find where he is. So down blocking is a really effective way. The best in the world, they make it so easy, they're amazing. Uh, so, so here are my hands go. If he's going to pull on my head, I'll take an elbow, four fingers on the inside of the tricep, thumb on the outside. I'll take an elbow and a wrist, but I'm not going to lunge and reach from the outside. I have no control over here. There's no control here. But there is control if I come to the inside, if I grab an elbow, if I double up on a wrist, if I get a fight to the inside, grab an elbow, that's where I want to be. I don't want to be on the outside. So the training is when he pulls on me, when he pulls on me, I'll go in here. I'll go to the elbow. I'm not going to come up with my hands. The other thing that we see a lot at the world level is he shoots on me. My forehead, again, my forehead is, is, my, is my best defense. My forehand is what I want to use to stop his, his leg attack. So if he changes his level, I change my level. He shoots. A lot of times you see guys that shoot. They're actually, now that's a real explosive for a guy that most likely do that because he can attack from the outside. But we're actually dropping our head in the way and I'm throwing my legs back. I'm not even giving him a chance to get to my leg. We see more and more of that now than ever before. So, I'm going to cover some down blocking. That's kind of a combination of that with foreheads and the drop of the hands. So, if he has an inside tire, and this is a really good drill to get them used to it. He's got, are you left here or right? Is it your left? Yeah, left. Your head cross here? Uh, yeah. Okay, so inside is not here? Head cross. Okay, so, can't come out of there. All right, so if he leaves his left leg, most likely, He's going to head outside here. He's going to head inside here. So I know right away wrestling him that this is his attack hand. Right? If he's leaning his left foot, most likely, this is his attack hand. Single leg. He's going to single leg over here. Yeah. He's going to left it. And he's going to high crotch here. So if I can control his attack hand, I'm in good shape. His attack hand is his left hand. So he gets an inside tie on me. I've got his elbow. Attack. It, elbows are awesome. You know, elbows are you know, old school Chris Campbell, Nate Carr. These guys are elbow mad. They held on to elbows. John Smith does a lot of elbow control. I've got his elbow, and if he shoots on me, the only way he can get my leg, I'm going to grab my leg. And we worry about it is if I let it go, and then he doubles up. If I just hold on to the elbow. So from a defensive standpoint, by position, he gets an inside tie, I get in I keep the elbow. Now, when he goes to high cross on the left side, my right hand is going to stop it. My head, the right arm, defends high cross, single. So if he goes to high cross, here's the drill. He's short 